everything changes. Hello everybody, welcome back to Go To Hot Hydroponics here in lovely Wisconsin, in lovely it is, it is sunny and hot out, it's actually pretty nice out today. So I know it's been a while, I've been so freaking busy, it's not even funny, I've been busy with school, yes I'm taking a summer class, which sucks, been working the last two weeks, over 50 hours at work doing HVAC stuff, now I finally had a little bit of time, a little more time this week and it's like dang, stuff never ends. Well anyways, I still haven't given up, but I have my hydroponic tomatoes behind me of course, so this year I decided to switch to Master Blend Nutrients. That's all I'm using, none of that general hydroponic stuff. I bought the powdered Master Blend Nutrients. I think I bought the five pound package kit. Um, my mixtures I'm using for the actual Master Blend and calcium nitrate are 2.4 grams per one gallon. And then 1.4 grams of Epsom salt per gallon. And that's how I mix these up. I had 15 gallons in there and I have 23 gallons in here. Because I realized tomatoes suck more water. As you can see, they are freaking huge. Um, another thing, a little update I did that took forever, another, that was another reason why I didn't comment back so fast, is that I put myself a water spigot up here. So, if we take a peek right there, the thing with the hose coming off. But I ran a pipe all the way from here all the way down to look by the pine tree basically or in a pipe and a wire just to go down there so i didn't have to come up so i didn't have to drag 200 feet of hose and have a 100 foot extension cord laid out every single time i wanted to run this thing so i actually have power right there in the bag which is just my waterproofing for right now and then i have water up here when i need it and they can also water the garden as well it works perfect saves me a ton of time it was worth it was a little expensive it was 100 feet of wire and 100 feet of hex tubing is what i ran so, but otherwise than that, I'm happy with it. I'm glad I did it, that's for sure. I still need to cover up some electrical stuff. It's just kind of sitting in the open currently. But as you see, the tomato plants are freaking huge. Sorry, the sun's in the way here. But they are huge. They're above my tomato cages on top here. You see, they're pretty lusciously green, and they are loving the nutrients I give them. There you go, there's some nice roots, nice white roots, clean roots. Another thing I wanted to point out is um, I haven't pH balanced this water at all. I did it once and then I realized I was like, I, I didn't have time for it or whatever. But honestly, I haven't pH balanced this water at all. I've had city water, this is not well water, it's city water, so it's pretty clean to begin with. But I've not pH balanced it. It seems like the plants are liking it, except my peppers. My peppers I'm having issues with because when I first brought them in from the basement, they had aphids all over the damn things. Now, those things are hard to get rid of, so I sprayed it with some aphid spray or whatever. Well, I think it was too strong, so it kind of burned the plants, so they are not looking so hot. So I can go show you, uh, I'll show you that, but, ah. Uh. I guess they look okay, but, and then the one over there on the end, the second one from the end over there, that one, uh, the stem broke off, so it's leaning over like this, and it's, oh, it's a pain in the butt. I have a habanero, I think two or three jalapenos, and then like two cayenne peppers. I mean, there are still buds on them. They just don't look the best. They could be looking better. Like the tomatoes, the tomatoes are freaking solid. Peppers, not so much. I don't know what the deal is, but it kind of makes me upset about that, so... They're looking better than they did. I'll give you that. They look a lot better than they did. So, um, but yeah, that's the latest and greatest. So I got my air pumps here. They're all full of freaking mud because I need to put them in a little waterproof box or something yet. Lately, I've been laying two boards on top of them and that's it. Um, yeah. You know, another thing that really screwed me up is when we got a ton of rain, a ton, like two inches over a night or something like that, of rain, and the freaking, I went to the pepper bucket, that was almost overflowing. This one was messed up too, so I basically had emptied all the water, put fresh water in with nutrients at the right balance, because it's hard to 
you don't know how much water was in there, and you don't know where it, where it started from in the first place, so I had to basically start over. So I emptied it out, put more in, but they seem to be happy with it. I've been replacing it within a week or two weeks. Right now, actually, I'll check this. So that was at 23 gallons, I think, Friday, and we're down to like 15 gallons. So they are, they are some thirsty plants, that's for damn sure. And the tomatoes love this freaking heat, so. Oh, there's a frog in there, I see again. I don't even know how to get in this damn thing. Oh, here. See a little frog? Right there. Little tree frog, I see. Um. I don't see any in that one. So, you know, the peppers, the peppers have always talked about a gallon because they're not, they don't grow as fast as the tomatoes. But tomatoes need a lot more juice and a lot more. Mm. So, yeah. Well, YouTube, that's uh, about all I got. That's about all that I have for now. Um, I will keep doing updates through summer. I know it's been a freaking long time since I did one. But again, I've been freaking busier than ever and it sucks. <sighs> but still keeping up with the hydroponics. Um, I think it's minnows should be pretty successful. These are the purple crim ones. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated and um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.